All right, so now we're going to work with the overhead microphones here. We Before, we've been working with the room microphone and the three close microphones. Just a reminder of how those sound. Add in the overhead microphones. This is going to give the sample some stereo imaging here. See how they're panned out? This is what they sound like panned all the way 100% on both sides. Notice how they're a little bit center falls apart. They're too wide. So that's why they're panned uh, about 50%. For me, that's a good stereo image for a snare sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and EQ these overheads. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Uh, we'll open up the visualizer so you can kind of get an understanding of what it hears and looks like. The low end is and boomy, but it's got a nice sound and shape to it, very even. So we're going to use the quick grouping feature to EQ both overheads at the same time. Simply just hold control, make sure they're selected, and then uh, just start EQing. So we're getting out that low, low end here. In this high mid-frequency band here, I'm going to adjust this down to the 700 hertz area and just start cutting a little bit. Um, again, it's kind of that concept where I want the snare to cut through more with, this, with the close mic, so I want to reduce those frequencies in the ambient microphones overhead. Next in here, I want to bring this up a little bit to match our spot microphones, so we're going to increase the gain on the low mid band. It's already at a place that I kind of like, so here we're just going to bring that up to about plus three decibels. Plus, between plus three and plus six here. Lastly, we're just going to boost the high frequencies here in the high frequency band. Again, this is in the high frequency sibilant range here, so it's going to give it a nice crack.